Okay guys, so today I will be reviewing HID projectors. Um, they're 7 inch pre-built headlights for any Jeep Wrangler. And um, I'm also going to do installation, that's going to be the first part. So let's get to it. The first thing is, is you have to remove the T15 screws around the headlight bezel. So that's the first thing you do. I prefer using a screwdriver type because some wrenches don't fit in there quite the way they should. And there are three, but you'll notice I only have two on both sides. And then you're going to try to wiggle out this bezel and pull it off. Sometimes that can be one of the harder parts. And then you're going to repeat the same for the other side. Now once you get to the headlight, you're going to want to have it, you're going to want to unplug it from the back. Because you don't want it just dangling there. And then there are several other T15 screws around the headlight with a ring that holds it on for a Jeep Wrangler TJ. This will vary from a, a Wrangler to Wrangler. Now I do have a tool that you can slide a magnet over the edge of this screwdriver and it'll keep it magnetized for a few minutes so you don't lose these uh, screws. I highly recommend that. I wasn't able to find mine to demonstrate it. But for basic removal, use a, a T15 screwdriver type. If you don't have that, you can make a wrench work, but it's a little bit harder. And then you're just going to want to set everything to the side where you know what's what and remove the headlight. Now that I showed you, I'll just quickly repeat the same on the other side. Okay guys, so I went ahead and did the driver's side and uh, passenger side is just sitting here right now. I, I went ahead and did that in case there were any tips and tricks I need to figure out how to get these in. Um, really, there's none. They fit like a glove. The only thing I will say is you want to push your headlight ring on before you put the, the headlight in. It is a little bit snug. But I kind of like it this way because if you ever pull out your headlights, it's already going to be on the right position. You don't have to figure out what's, you know, what's up, what's down. You don't have to readjust them. So that's, that's actually kind of nice. It kind of builds the, the headlight ring into the headlights so you already know which is top from bottom since they're not marked. Um, but yeah, you just push the headlight ring back on and you feed the wires through which is simple enough and then you line the headlight ring back up and then you put the screws in starting them with just a little bit of thread and then you evenly tighten them all down because it is 
a JK style headlight. So you kind of need to seat it a little bit better than it would take to do a regular TJ style headlight. But uh, it's they still fit great. Now once you have them all started, one thread, you're just going to torque them evenly across till they're tight. So I'll do a few turns, keep going around, you don't have to get on a pattern just as long as they're getting evenly tightened down to seat it properly. Now I'm tightening them down all the way just to show you guys and throwing the bezels back on. It's basically the reverse process of taking them off. But uh, you may want to just keep it one thread in case you have to turn it to um, make sure that you have the top on the top and the bottom on the bottom. Otherwise your high beams are going to be low and your regular beams are going to be pointing straight at everybody and that's not what you want. And I'll show you guys how to adjust them later. Now I'm just going to grab this last bezel and you push it on. They fit perfectly with these headlights. Um, it can be a little bit trickier getting the screws back down in because they come out further than the stock TJ headlights but uh, you can see I'm not having a problem just if you were using that wrench that I said before you might want to switch to one of these screwdrivers and there you go both of them are in now to the wiring. Okay, so whenever you're ready, you're going to lay out all the wiring. Um, it is a lot. It's not quite as bad if you uh, got one of these kits from somewhere else or anything. Um, I like to put this uh, main box right between my uh, air box and the side of the fender. I just put a screw through there. And then that way you're within reach of your battery and you don't have to extend anything. And it's kind of tucked in there. This was the way I had it set up on my old HID set. Um, and then you're just going to go through. You're going to see what fits what connector. They're all different connectors so you can't connect the wrong thing. And you're just going to keep going and, and uh, connect them all. Uh, There's not much to this part. But uh, the first thing I would do would be I would make sure all your boxes are uh, bolted down and everything. I'm actually going to do that last in case I have to readjust anything. But uh, it's highly unlikely because I've already done this before. And then you have one ground on each side and right where this bolt is above the headlight I like to put that. So once you have everything connected you connect the grounds, connect the powers and uh, make sure it's all secured down not going to fly in towards your fan or anything because that almost happened with my old uh, set that I made myself. Um, you have to plug one side into one of the old headlight receptacles. So there's that. You have the main box, these connectors. And you'll notice that um, all the connectors are different or switched from side to side so you can't connect the wrong ones. I really like this. Um, 
not a lot of kits are like that, but HID projectors, uh, they really put a lot of thought into this. So you have the basics connected now on one side and you're going to pretty much repeat the same for the other side. You do have to run this long strip of wire to the other side because it doesn't work off of both headlight receptacles, it only works off of one. Um, but now I'm going to do the other side real quick. Okay, so now like I said, you're going to connect the ground, it's just the one um, little circular piece like that with a hole through it. There's a bolt on both sides above where your headlights come out and you're going to keep the new ground and the old one on there unless you want to combine them but I don't advise that in case you ever take the headlights out. And um, the auxiliary lights which are like uh, you know whatever color you picked for the HID projectors and all just throw those up over the front of the grill and uh, that'll let you get those out of the way while you're working on making sure the real headlights get together. Now the bolt above the headlights, I was telling you for the ground, they're 3 8 and uh, they work as the best ground on the TJs, so you don't have to drill anything. Now for putting the, the main uh, relay and the ballast down, you're going to want to, you know, drill through and put a bolt through wherever you want them or feels best and you want to tie everything up out of the way so it doesn't get in the way of the fan. So once you've made a few connections and connected the ground and the positive battery cable and put everything back together, your headlights are now functional. Uh, it only takes about two minutes to actually do it all if you're not videoing it and you uh, already thought out how you're going to do it. Um, it's pretty simple, um, you know, the next thing would be to wire the auxiliaries while you're doing all the electric, you know, the colored lights like I was telling you that you can pick for your, from HIDprojectors.com and, uh, then you would, uh, adjust the lights to make sure they're right as far as up and down, you know, the adjustments and actually turning them to make sure the top's the top and the bottom's the bottom. But uh, I'm actually going to do that when it's a little later so I can see it better. But looking at them right now in the daylight, super bright. And uh, much happier with these than the old HID projectors that I made. And I'll show you them in a different video for the review itself aside from installation. Okay guys, so next is to wire your colored lights. Uh, I was looking around for my uh, heat shrink crib connectors and I couldn't find them. I just found some of my hard plastic ones. I'm not a huge fan of them. They're a lot cheaper and less waterproof. But I also found these waterproof uh, connectors. And uh, so instead of disconnecting the ones that are down low on the headlights, for um, the HID projectors, it'll make it easier if I ever want to take off my headlights because I'm just going to connect all the reds and the blacks to one and then they'll have the same ground and then the same power outlet and then I can just disconnect them all at once. If you want to be able to turn on one and not the other, you're going to have to connect them separately, different switches, everything makes it more complicated. So once you've... Um connected all the loose wires, the positive and the ground, and found out if you wanted to use that white wire for um, turning your lights off with something. Um, then it's all connected, ready to go. Uh, you just got to organize your wires a bit. Like I said, it's headlights. It's not a real hard install. Let me turn on my lights so you guys can see them.
these are the colored lights I was telling you guys about. Um, they do a very good job at uh, showing the color and breaking it up and not being all mush. It's kind of hard to tell from the video because they are so bright. But um, when you see them in person, the video just doesn't do it justice. I'll try to take some pictures and probably add it into this so you can see the, them from a better angle. But um, so you have your lights hooked up and, and the colors. The, the next thing you have to do is actually adjust them. And uh, this is not too hard either. If um, your lot, you have uh, like a line, it's like a rainbow on the back end when, when you're pointing towards something. If it's not even and the light's down low, you have to turn your light within the, the headlamp holder and turn it so it's a flat horizontal line. And then you have to figure out, you know, how high you want your lights and to make a match. And then there's adjustment screws on the top and bottom of these lights on the sides. And um, the top one uses to adjust the up and down. And then the lower one is left and right. So I'll show you guys that real quick, the whole turning it deal to get the line straight against the wall or something is not too hard. Hopefully you guys can see this in a video. It probably won't do it justice. Okay guys, so this isn't the best representation and you probably can't see the colored line below the light, but you can probably see the lines a little bit. But uh, I'm going to adjust my one light up a little higher because my other is way further up. And I'm just turning the screw that's holding the light in, and it's raising this light up. Now I'm actually going to lower the other light because it's kind of pointing too high and it might get in people's eyes. And as you can see it, it's lowering it. And now they're about even. I think I'm going to lower both of them a tad more. Now I'm actually going to disconnect one and uh, see where they're at. Now I'm going to play with the side to side a little bit. This is probably one of the trickier things I've done because I've never adjusted mine and uh, the screws for it are actually um, pretty, uh, pretty stuck in one position.
Now, uh, my one's actually so stuck that I'm probably going to have to get some WD-40 on it where I should have before. But you can see right now it's a, a whole lot better of a light pattern across than it was when I started. So once you get the wires all organized and everything the way you want them, your bezel's back on, you're ready to go. Uh, overall, easy install, no real problems. If you have three external lights like I do, you're going to have three reds and three blacks for your power. Earlier I missed one because I wasn't paying enough attention. But uh, I got them all wired up. If you have four lights with the, the halo ring around the outside, then you're going to have four reds, four blacks. Just a little side note in case you're wondering why one part of your light isn't coming on or something. It's probably a wire tucked away somewhere or got pulled out from your headlight. But um, it is an easy install. They look better than the ones I made. And uh, overall, great product. Um, but I'll talk more about it in the review, which will be a separate video. And I um, hope you guys liked the video. Thumbs up if you liked it. Comment, share, subscribe. Have a good day, everybody.